friends this patient was on pilocarpin for a long time you can see yeah glazer peripheral arrhythmias at 3 o'clock and 3:30 i have taken up this case for fecal specification and i have decided to use b hex pupil expander in this case by this time all the incisions have been made and now i'm going to inject an air bubble and stain the capsule with trypan blue dye now i'm injecting a bit of adrenaline to see if the pupil dilates little bit but adrenaline didn't have any effect on this case and now visco elastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and now i'm going to use the b hex pupil expander this is a 23 gauze crocodile forceps and it is the b hex is introduced like this it is taken totally into the anterior chamber and the leading flange is tucked under the iris at on go now i go through the right side board hold this flange and tuck it now i go through the left side board hold the flange which is at 10 o'clock and tuck it in this way thus the people has taken a beautiful hexagonal shape and now capsular axis is done all these steps are as usual because the iris is at its original position if we use iris hooks the iris is pulled towards the cornea but in b hex the pupil is at its original place so all these steps are as usual and adequate sized capsular axis has been done now hydro dissection is done hydro dissection is done at several points the nucleus is mobilized and then visco elastic substance is injected and the tip of the fecal handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber as usual nucleus management part is being edited to shorten the length of the video direct chop has been done and then the fragments are emulsified and removed in this case i have decided to use by manual irrigation aspiration and you can see that this lot of cortical matter and epi nucleus is also remaining and this can be removed by by manual irrigation aspiration the aspirating probe is through the left side port the irrigating probe is through the right side port and the epineucleus and cortex has been removed almost 180 degree has been removed now i change hands and remove the other half
that's it cortical cleanup is done little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and then in this case a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag this is a hydrophobic intraocular lens from Apasami Associates super Fob. it's a beautiful lens no financial interest but I am very much grateful to Apasami Associates Apasami has helped not only me Apasami Associates have helped thousands of ophthalmic surgeons in India and now this is how you remove the BHEX untuck the flanges all the flanges bring it in the anterior chamber and then pull it out like this rest of the video is being edited out thank you very much for watching hope this video will inspire you to use BHEX people expander surgeon